What's going on guys? I'm here with a quick unboxing. Um, this is RC related, so it is an RC video. It is not a video game. So let's go ahead and open this. Just received this right now. Which is kind of surprising because I always get UPS uh, shipments. I literally the last the last uh, person to get delivered to so we'll go ahead and all right so this is what I picked up picked this up for around um, I think it was like 50 bucks yeah a little pricey but not really I seen this drone being sold for like 60 bucks a while back which is really pricey it's a little too pricey for it I think um, the quality of these the plastic on most of these drones is not very good guys so I tried to look for something that I can recommend to you guys it has all everything all of like everything all in one in the box you know that is the reason why I got the 4D RC and that was the reason why I got the LH or the LS Mini um, is why I might be saying that wrong and those ones came in bags, guys. They came in bags. So I really try to uh, recommend something that has a, a bag. Uh, something you don't have to buy. It's already there. So that that way when you guys uh, do buy it, you have it's all ready to go, you know? And you even have somewhere to carry it. So this is the drone I got. You can see that says Gruss. A foldable drone with optimal flow positioning and 1080p camera. We look at the side here, we get a couple of previews. So we got the optimal flow positioning, your click in battery and altitude hold. And if we go on this side, we got nothing. We got some more warnings here. It takes about 120 minutes to charge this product up. And then if we go over here, we get pretty much what is on the other side of the box. Again, just the only thing now, it's a headless mode here. This is everything we already read here. And there is the RC. So, let's go ahead and open this up, guys. So already it wasn't taped and this is what we got guys so this is a $50 drone then comes in a bag guys so you don't have to worry about uh, having a bag or having your drone all loose or just laying around you'll have an actual place to keep it in with a nice bag that says JJRC on it in 3d feels good and it just looks good so go ahead and open this up man it is really hot today guys so you guys can see it's nicely packaged it's got this too over it too so that way if you stack something on top of it it doesn't smash the drone so that is something you want to keep for sure and here's the drone itself and the transmitter so we got our phone case holder here or phone holder not phone case feels pretty tight it feels strong it's got click motion so that's good at least it'll hold a bigger phone without uh, going all lopsided Okay, so here's our transmitter, which feels light, but not too bad. So we got four double A's here. It does feel a little light, though. I can't get this on. There. So the tension feels pretty good, too. It is altitude hold, so it just stays just um, in the middle. The spring feels good. There are no click buttons in the thumbsticks. 
and you guys can see these this is your trims headless mode and this is automatic takeoff to film is right here and I think this calibrates it and then you got your flips and something else on this side not too sure I guess I'll have to read the manual your power button here and a power indication there and uh, this does have sound notifications so when the drone is getting low it will beep and when the drone is getting too far it will beep so and you guys can see the the case of it looks really nice so we'll put that back put the drone here see what we got in here okay so might want to fill that out or just click on that I mean uh, just uh, QR it and then go there and I guess you can uh, put your email and all that good stuff so they can you so you can get your spare parts right here 90 day spare parts warranty so that's your warranty and then we got here which uh, supports this is the actual um, app you're gonna need problem uh, troubleshooting and Here's the actual manual itself. I'm going to board you guys with that. Alright, so we get one, two, three, four. So we get an entire set of, of propellers, a propeller remover, and a decent charging cable, which looks like you can go ahead and use one of yours as well. Um, it, it, yeah, it is. It's just a regular cable. So if you have one of these micro USBs, you can use it. Although this is a pretty good cable, you can see it is a uh, tangled free. It's a tangled free cord, so it doesn't get tangled up. Very nice. It feels pretty good too. It doesn't feel cheap and ready like as if it's been sitting in the hot sun and you got your prop guards here pretty simple and we'll go ahead and put that in there put that one back there all right so we get two batteries here does it say how much power are in these batteries yes it does right here 1000 MA 3.7 Wow, that's pretty good for 1000 ma is not too too bad. It's got a name to it to the battery. I think that says Ace Top. It feels good too. Does it feel all light? It feels decent and I guess you charge it right here. And you can just go ahead and use your own cable. It looks like all the charging stuff components are built in it. So you can just use your cable. Whenever you see one of these and uh, it comes with a cable to charge it, but it has a light on the USB, that means the charger is not built inside of it. It is built in the USB. So if you try to go and use a cable like this by itself, you'll just mess up the battery so keep that in mind on other drones you guys get all right so you get two of these so you get 2000 um 2000 ma all right so we'll go ahead and put those back in there and here's the drone itself which feels pretty good doesn't feel too bad you can see what kind of uh, you can see where it's getting its design from Your battery goes in there. It does have optimal flow positioning. So, uh, and you can see, didn't put that in right. Let me get this off. And there it goes. Now it's in right. And I 
Yep, there's our little camera, which is not too small. You got your bigger camera here. Got your eyes here or lights and we got this here and our power button is right here I turn it on they all blink these are red six red lights and a green one and your two front lights here which look pretty good they look pretty good they look bright so you just turn it off here okay so that's pretty good so let's go ahead and open this guy up feels pretty good too when you open it I like that that doesn't feel so bad this actually feels pretty good guys it's not too bad not too bad at all it feels decent I'm pretty happy with that I thought it was gonna be crappier than this because you know how these drones are sometimes you get them and they're they're not what they look like you know or they are what they look like but they're very lightweight this one feels pretty good I would say this weighs around 60 grams maybe 60 yeah about 60 grams it feels like to me so it feels pretty good and it feels it's a little hollow feeling but but the plastic itself feels good it's a very nice drone and when the arms fold in and out they click and they feel like they go into place very nicely and you guys seen how to turn it on it looks really good that is a bright green light back there great for orientation very nice strong very nice guys um, I kind of wish the propellers themselves would fold in but I'm not complaining so far it feels good guys and I think I'm gonna get my money's worth as soon as I put batteries into that remote there um, it sh should feel a whole lot better and when you fold these you fold the back in first and then the front and that's what it looks like and then that just goes right in there whenever you're done messing around with the drone that goes in there and then you can just put this back in here and this goes here and you're good to go back at the back at the park or whatever you need to go and then when you're done, you can simply put it away instead of your drone just being all laid out everywhere, you know. So I really like that. Plus it gives it a place for your spare parts to be in. So when you do want to get the drone, it's all in one. Some of my drones, I have them all mixed around, you know, because I have the charger over here, the transmitter over there. And it's because they didn't come with bags. So that is the reason why I chose this. Plus I think 50 bucks for this is not too bad considering the drone is pretty good and it's got optimal flow positioning it's also got um something in there where you can turn the optimal flow positioning off letting it fly a little more um free instead of just because the optimal flow positioning will do this it will keep the drone steady and as you're flying it will automatically swing like this because it it's trying to stop in its place and just stay still because that's what optimal flow positioning does so whenever you're flying and you're flying forward and you stop it starts teeter-totting like that and then it goes normal but it does it like kind of aggressively and that is because the optimal flow is on and uh, I like the that they have it so you can turn the optimal flow off right here and then the drone will not do that it'll be able to fly just like a normal drone but you will have to have more control over it. I notice drones that have optimal flow positioning tend to have a bad uh, trims. They don't have very good trims. It's like they depend it on the, the actual um, optimal flow positioning to keep it stable. And it does, it does. But if you cover it up or it goes in the dark, the drone starts drifting everywhere, so. That's not bad, so it should stay still even without it. So not too bad, guys. I'm a little excited for it. Can't wait to use it. Probably give it a shot later on today. Take it out, see what it can do. So I'll be back, guys, with, uh, with the flight video. 
so stay tuned for that thanks a lot for watching and i will leave a link to the drone guys i really think you you guys should consider this one it's getting hot it's perfect for drone time and uh it comes with everything all in one just like the 4d rc but it better better than the 4d rc i'll tell you that the plastic is better and i know that a lot of guys um like the drones they like it chunky you know they want a drone that you can actually grab you know so they like them chunky and that's the reason why the 4d rc rc did so good because it's a thicker drone but what's the point of having it like a thicker drone if it's just very bad plastic you know so this one feels good the plastic it's not super wide if you looked at it from the side here it wasn't super wide you know right here it wasn't as thick you know but it does feel good i'm telling you it does guys it really does so i'm really looking forward to the flight video and uh i'll be back for that one i will leave a link to the product in the description guys and uh, yeah, like I said, we'll do the flight video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys.